Hi, I'm Josh Hockman with the Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we are going to line up ITM heads. So the first thing you do want to double check if you're showing that your ITM heads are not lined up is make sure you have air onto the machine and there is air blowing out of the ITM heads to open the plunger up so it can send the beam and receive the laser beam. Second one, make sure obviously no obstructions are on there. And uh, third thing to double check before you line up ITM heads would be to clean your heads. And we do have a service guide on our website also on how to clean your ITM heads. So we're gonna start out with here, first thing to, if all those check out, first thing to look at is if your probe indicator is reading red, that means the laser beam is not making connection on the ITM heads. This is a 3000 series Titan, um, 3700 to be specific, and you will have the screens will look a little different on the 2000 series or 1000 series Titans, but it's the exact same concept. Uh, red light means they're not lined up, green light means they're making good connection. Okay, so now that we're here at our ITM, heads. We already removed the four nuts holding the top bracket on. We'll remove that top bracket. And here we have our ITM heads with our adjuster packs on where we can adjust the ITM heads. The transmitter is on our right side and the receiver is on our left. This will be the same on any machine there. You can also, if you want, you can look. The transmitter has a TX on it, and the receiver has RX. So to start out with, we see we do have a red beam coming out of our transmitter, so we know our transmitter is working. Now if we take a look at the red beam here, the I can see the hole that the beam needs to go into, and I can see, in our case, the red dot looks a little bit high on that hole. So that's how you can start to tell which direction you need to move. So I'm just gonna do a quick check and lift up ever so slightly on this and try and get that to line up. And I can see my red light at the top turned amber. That means I'm getting closer to a good connection here. So. In this case, I do need to come straight up with it. So we're just going to break our bolts a little bit loose, just crack them. We don't want to get them too loose. And then on the side, you have your side to side adjustments you can do. And here you have where we can raise or lower the set screws will push up on that and raise or lower the head there. So in this case, I'm just going to try and do even adjustments here. You can see already I am got an amber colored light, so I am getting closer. And if you do not have the lights on the top of your heads, you can also use our meter. And we'll put that on in a second here and we'll show you what kind of voltage you should be reading. So when you're red, actually I'll just show you now here, when you're red it will read zero because you're not making any connection. So if we just slide this on to our ITM head here, I can see I'm reading about four volts right now. And that is about half of what we would like to see. So I'm getting closer here, so I'm going to just take that off or make it a little bit easier to see the light instead in this case. And now I am green. So now once I'm green, I definitely want to be checking my voltage here. And what we're aiming for is about 8.2. Um, anything over an 8 on the voltage, it will be just fine. So looking at that, I am at 
in 8.29 right now. So that is good. I am going to lock down my ITM adjuster pack. Make sure that everything is locked down tight. And I am still at that 8.2 yet. So now we can remove our, our meter. This meter does come with any machine that had an ITM. Um, if you need this meter, we Park Industries does sell it um, if you want there. And uh, now we can just put our top plate back on. Um, when you do bolt these down, when you do tighten these bolts down, just uh, they don't have to be reefed down real hard here. Um, we will just uh, snug them up and then we should be good to go. After you do align your ITM heads, you do want to do a calibration um, and beam align there. Just to make sure everything is in par, you should have your um, ITM tool that has the measurements already in your machine. Okay, now that you can see, um, we got everything back together back there. Our probe is lit up green, a solid green here, which is good. So now we're gonna come to our tool library screen. On this machine specifically, our tool number is 298 for our ITM tool. All our values are in there, um, which is good. If for some reason your ITM tool is not in there. The, this is your ITM tool. All the values are printed on it. Before you do any measurements, make sure the tool is nice and clean. This is a tool you want to keep in a clean, dry area. Um, we don't want these rusting up. That can make it very inaccurate for your beam align and calibration there. So we're going to go back to our ITM screen here and on ITM setup at the top corner. We are going to insert our tool and then we can do our beam align and align that up. Okay, now that we got our tool in our spindle and our tool is selected, uh, make sure our current tool again is the 298. We can come to our, back to our ITM setup screen here make sure our spindle is enabled and we can click beam align and now it will do its thing it will take a couple minutes here to align them beams and we'll come back and see what numbers we line up with okay now that we got our beam align is done our results here our beam axis is two thousand and our tool axis is four tolerance for the machine is beam access has to be within 10 thousandths and tool access is within 5 thousandths. Right below this video, there will be a guide on if yours is out of tolerance, what you need to adjust, um, which way you need to move your heads to make that line up better. But we are within tolerance, so on this video, we are not gonna do any adjustments. So after that, we can go to our tool dimensions tab here, and then we can calibrate. So we're just gonna start cycle on our calibration here now. And this will also take a couple minutes here. So we'll come back and see, make sure everything calibrated well also. Okay, once it's done with the calibration process, um, you do not get any alerts or pop-ups. Um, in this case here, you can just see it's just sitting there at calibration here um, and not moving anymore. So once you get done with that, it's a good idea to measure your calibration tool. So we're gonna go to ITM measure. We're going to select tool 
and select our ITM tool. And now we're just going to measure our ITM tool and see if it wants any changes here or if we're good. We'll come back in a minute here just while this measures and we'll go from there. Okay, now that we measured our tool, um, we are getting numbers back that are acceptable here. So our ITM is all set back up and uh, we can go to running. As always, if you have questions, give our customer service department a call and we can answer any questions we can and uh, let us know. Thank you.